Welcome to Mindfulness Monday, episode number eight. I'm not even going to do it with my fingers. As you can tell, a bit of a croaky voice, so it won't be a really long one today. But I wanted to come on and talk about the concept of primary and secondary experience. And I'm going to elaborate on this in a little bit, but I want you to think about those times where something is going on in your life, yet it feels like it, it kind of literally is the end of the world. But then you look at somebody else going through exactly the same thing and they're responding completely differently. Well, chances are it's because most of the stuff we think about is made up in our head anyway, and it's a story we tell ourselves, and actually what's really going on is the minimal, minimal, minimal bit. And I came across primary and secondary experience probably about two or three years ago when I was being, when I went on a, a meditation afternoon. And I'm going to use exactly the same technique to teach you about primary and secondary experience that was taught to me that day by Chris. And it was it was essentially showing that we we have things happen in our life, but what we do is we then create a whole kind of set of narratives and stories around it which just aren't true, but we, we treat them like they are true. And I was reminded of when I was thinking about the subject of this of this live. I was reminded about a story that Dr. Wayne Dwyer told one of his one of his um, audios I listened to a while ago. And he's he's dead now. Amazing, amazing man. And he said that if you go out into a traffic jam and you talk to all these people in traffic jam and you say to them, "How are you feeling?" everyone responds differently. Some people will go, I hate it, it's awful, I'm in a traffic jam. Other people will go, well, I'm cool, I've got sandwiches and, you know, it's not a problem and I've got music and I'm warm, what's there to worry about? And it just kind of goes to show that the same event can lead to different outcomes for different people. So let's talk about primary and secondary experience. So what is primary experience? I want you to imagine that this is the primary experience. And by primary experience, I mean, this is the thing which is happening at the moment. And if we take the example of being stuck in traffic, for those of you who drive, you, you get that. For those of you who don't, it's being in traffic, in a car, being unable to move. Maybe there's been a crash. Maybe there's some roadworks. Maybe there's just a volume of traffic and there's lots of stuff going on. This is the thing which is happening. This is your primary experience. But what we layer on top of it is a number of, Secondary experiences. Huge shout out to my mom who actually gave me these cushions. Brilliant things. So primary experience is this bit on the bottom here. Secondary experiences are the bit on the top. And what might those secondary experiences look like? <clears throat> it might be, I'm going to be late for work. I'm, my boss is going to be angry. I'm going to miss an important meeting. They're going to think I'm incompetent. I should have got up earlier this morning, but didn't. I had an argument with my partner before I came out and they've made me late. I shouldn't have stopped to do my tea. There's all these things which are going to go on and on and on, on top of this primary experience. What we know is that we're stuck in traffic. But what we've done is we've made up all these, all these thoughts and all these things on, on, top of the secondary, on top of that primary experience called secondary experiences. So we can take each of these in turn. And one of the things which I you know, encourage my clients to do is look at that primary experience down here on the bottom and ask yourself, is it true? Case of traffic, yeah, I'm stuck in traffic, that's true. But then start asking questions about all the stuff on top. So I should have left for work earlier, okay, maybe. But did you leave in, in enough time to get to work on a normal day, yes, you probably did. So actually, we can get rid of that one. That's not true. You actually left plenty of time. There wasn't much you could do about it. My boss is going to think I'm incompetent or I'm not going to, not going to get enough work done or I'm going to miss a business meeting. Okay, maybe that's true, but it also might not be true. You might not miss that business meeting. You might get to work on time. It might be that the person you're meeting with for that business meeting is also stuck in traffic as well. They might be behind you. You might get there in front of them. Is your boss going to be angry? Maybe, maybe not. But as long as you've given yourself enough time to get there and other stuff is out of your control, then it's not a problem. <clears throat> get rid of that one. It's not a problem. 
really what we're sticking with is we're sticking with that one thing, the primary experience, which is you are in traffic and that you cannot change. But all those thoughts you put on top are just things which you create. And we think about all the other stuff which we kind of create in our minds. You know, we create these stories about whether we're good, whether we're bad, whether we're worthy, whether we're, we're competent. And we base these things on a future which hasn't actually arrived and hasn't actually doesn't actually exist. <clears throat> Excuse me, all that really exists is the present moment we're in, we're, we're in now. And sometimes it's really worth just asking yourself those questions. Is what I'm thinking true? And what is actually really, really, really going on? One of the things which I, I think about with primary and secondary experience is the thoughts which kind of pop up in my head about what other people might be thinking. So I go out for a walk and I, I've got my, maybe got my, my brace on my leg and I will make up these stories in my head when I see people looking at me and maybe I'll see them glance down and look at my, look at my brace and they'll go, and I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, oh, they're, they're making a judgment about me. They might be thinking, oh, there might be something wrong with me. Why am I wearing the brace? They, they might be making a judgment about my ability to be able to walk properly. They might be making some other judgments about me. The reality is, I don't know. All I know is that I'm out for a walk and I'm wearing my brace. All the other stuff is made up on top of it. And what I would say to you, my, you know, my invitation today is to have a play around with that primary and secondary experience idea. Have a look at the things in your life which you believe are true, but actually when you examine them, they're not. If there's an experience, if there's something going on around you, have a look at whether that's true, but then analyze all the thoughts on top and see whether they're actually worth your time or whether they could be replaced by better thoughts. Those thoughts about being in a car, you know, my boss is going to be angry that I'm late. Well, the argument there is that you can say to your boss, well, actually, the thought here is that my boss is actually going to be pleased that I'm safe, that I got to work and that I made the effort to come in. You can make up a completely different story and you can actually create a much, much better story around that. So that was just a quick thought around primary and secondary experience made up with some cushions on a Monday evening with a bit of a croaky voice. But I hope that there's something in there which, which kind of makes sense to you. And I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Stick them in the comments and you've got any questions, give me a shout. See you later.